So today we are taking accountancy classes, class 11, chapter number 1, introducing to accounting. Accounting is media of communication. It is, we can say, language of the business. As you know, the business is economic activity and for economic activities, all the business transactions or events are recorded. The accounting is a systematic process of recording the business transactions. In a systematic manner, we have to record all the financial transactions. What are the financial transactions? As you know, in business, we purchase the goods and we sell the goods. These are the financial transactions. So, whenever we learn accountancy or accounting, that is a systematic process. And there are system of learning the accounting. There are two systems of learning the accounting. Number one, double entry system and number two, single entry system. And double entry system is invented by Lucas Pacioli in the 1494 and in double entry system they have covered two aspects, dual aspects. Every business transaction has dual aspect. So today I am studying accounting as a process. So there are seven steps, seven letters in the accounting process. Number one, identifying. What you have to identify? Identifying the financial transactions. Identifying the business transactions. Identifying the business event. The number one letter is I. I for identifying. Number two, measuring. Measurement. Measurement, which transaction can be measured in terms of money that is called measurement. Second letter is M. First letter is I. I for identify, identifying the financial transaction. Second letter is M. Measuring, measure in terms of money, which transactions or which financial transactions measure in terms of money that is called financial transaction which have to be recorded in the books of accounts. Third point is recording. R. First is I, second is N, third point is R. Recording the financial transactions. So, how to record the financial transactions? That is a systematic way of recording the business transactions. Accounting is art of recording the business transaction. Accounting is, is science of recording the business transactions and this is the third point recording of business transaction. So accounting is art of recording the business transaction, accounting is science of recording the business transaction. Science why we are saying certain principles we have to follow. That's why we say the science of recording the business transactions. Next point is C. C, C for classifying. As you know, first point I have discussed, I, I for identifying, M for measurement of transaction in terms of money. Next third point is recording. Recording in a systematic manner. And recording a business transaction is an art and recording a business transaction is also science because it is based on principles. So next letter is coming, C, C for classifying. Classify all the business transaction had wise. You have to maintain different hats, purchase, sales, and we have to maintain different accounts, individual account in the ledger. That is classifying. Then summarizing. Summarizing the business transactions. And we have to prepare the final accounts, financial tools, trading account, profit and loss account, and balance sheet. Summarizing. Then, uh, then interpreting or analyzing and last transaction is, last word is 
communicating. How to communicate the information? As already I said, okay, accountancy is language of business. So there are seven letters in this. Number one, I. Number two, M. Number three, R. I for identifying. M for measuring, measurement of terms in money. And third is recording. Fourth is classifying. C for classifying. And summarizing and interpreting or analysis and then last is communicating communicating to users so these are the seven letters word and so as you know these are the basic basic word, uh, definition of accountancy is we can say accountancy is Systematic process of identifying, systematic process of identifying, measuring, recording, classifying, summarizing, interpreting and communicating financial information to the users. So it gives the following informations, the resources available, how the available resources have been employed and the results achieved by their use. This we have to communicate to the users. There are two kinds of users, two types of user, number one internal user, number two external user. Internal users are management, owner and employee, employee and workers of, of the company. The internal users are three, number one owner, whatever we have recorded the business transactions, we have to give proper information to our users. The number one use your user is owner, owner of the company, and number two, management. Number three, uh, number three, we can say workers or employees of the company. And there are external users. External users are creditors, bank, government, public. These are the external users. So we have to give information to the users also. As you know, I told you, accounting is language of business. When it is a language, so there are certain terminology. When we use in accounting, accounting, what are the terminologies? You have to keep, according to the modern approach, five words at a time. Number one, assets asset what is asset what is an asset assets which has permanent nature physical nature permanent nature physical nature durability that is called assets and permanent in nature it requires huge amount of expenditure we say that is an asset and then second word is liability. Second term is liability. Liability means owes. Asset means owns. Liabilities means owes. And third is capital. Capital invested in the business. Honors contribution. Equity is called capital. Next revenue. Income generated by the business. Regular income generated, recurring nature income is generated by the business that is called revenue and then expenses, recurring nature expenses. We have to pay salary, rent, commission, discount, interest that is called expenses. These are the main five hats we use in modern system. Assets, liability, capital, revenue and expenses so in accounting we have to maintain proper books of account maintaining of business record in a systematic manner in a systematic process which already i have explained there are seven process there are seven seven letter word is success and seven letter are i m r c s I for identifying, M for measuring, R for recording, C for classifying, S for summarizing, and analyzing and then communicating. 
In this process, we have to follow the seven letter. So accounting will be completed. Now, what are the objectives of accounting? So number one objective is number one objective is to maintain the records of financial transaction. First, proper record. Transparency is there, accuracy is there. Second is to determine profit and loss of the business at the end of the year because we have to follow particular accounting period. Generally, one year is accounting period that may be April to March, financial year. Nowadays, we are using accounting period is financial year, April to March. So, number one point, maintenance of record accounting record, number two, determination of profit and loss, and number three, to find out, to determine the financial position of the business. Financial position, final accounts we have to prepare, final tools we have to prepare, trading account, profit and loss account, and balance sheet. And that is prepared. That is the objectives of accounting. So, we can say, these are the objectives and next we are coming to the system so there are two system of accounting number one double entry system number two single entry system already i have explained to you double entry system which every business transaction has dual aspect two aspect one aspect is debit another aspect is credit so, one is receiver, another is giver. That is one for expenses and one for income. One for asset, one for liabilities. So, these are the, uh, anything can comes in the business and anything out from the business. So, we have to follow the double entry system. Double entry system was invented by Lucas Pesioli in the year 1494. He was in Italy. A managed city and he has introduced this is the English system and this is very good system to prepare the books of accounts in the modern days. Nowadays we are following the tally system. Tally means total agreement of all the accounts. So this is the double entry system. Next system is single entry system. Single entry system we can say Indian system of accounting and we have to cover only one aspect, single aspect is covering the single entry system. So there are two systems of accounting uh, system. Now what are the branches of accounting? Branches, number one, financial accounting. As you know, there are three branches of accounting. Nowadays there are five branches of accounting, but in initial, in, in the class 11, we are learning three branches of accounting. Number one, financial accounting. Number two, cost accounting. And number three, management accounting. These are the branches of accounting. Financial accounting, cost accounting, and management accounting. These are the accounting. These are the branches of accounting and uh, another uh, in class 12 we can say the social responsibility accounting, tax accounting, government accounting, these are different branches of accounting. But in the initial stage we have to see there are three branches, number one financial accounting, number two cost accounting and number three management accounting. Now, I said to you the accounting is language. Every language has some terms. And already I explained five terms in this system. Number one, asset. Asset means tangible, intangible, visible, visible, physical, asset, fixed assets, current assets. These are the assets which has permanent nature, which require huge amount that we call assets. Asset means belongingness, property, building, machinery, truck, 
bus, car, which owned by the business. It is owned by the business that is called assets. Liability that is we can say owes, owes which amount we have to pay in future. That is liability. Then capital, capital investment in the business by the owner of the business. By the owner of the business is that is called capital. Then revenue and then expenses. Revenue, recurring nature of income and expenses, recurring nature of expenditure, salary, rent, commission, these are the recurring nature expenditure. So these are the five terms and another term is drawing. When we use any amount from business for personal expenses, suppose we have paid electricity bill for our home, for house, that is called personal expenses. So all the personal expenses are known as drawing. So I am explaining you all the basic terms which are used in accounting. So this is the basic terms drawing. Drawing when any amount you draw from the business for personal use or any kind of goods you draw from the business for personal use that is called drawing. Amount you can draw from the business for paying the uh, tuition fees of a son or for paying the electricity bill of house or any kind of personal expenses or you have taken goods from your business. Suppose you are having ready-made cloth, so you have cloth purchased, so you have taken cloth from your business that is called drawing. So this, these are the terms. So we have to learn in 11th class 20 terms. So already I have explained seven terms. Number one asset, number two liability, number three capital, revenue, expenses, five drawing. Drawing is six. Next is capital. Capital already I told you. Investment of, by a businessman, by, by an investor in the business that is called capital. And another point is, another term is dater. To whom we sell the goods on credit. Customer is dater. Suppose we are having customer known to us, we sold goods on credit. That is, we can say dater. From whom we have to take money in future. Dater is customer. Client. For doctor, that is client. For hospital, that is patient. For teacher, that is student, so maybe debtor. Then creditor. Creditor is liability, debtor is asset. Creditor, which amount we have to pay in future. We have borrowed the amount or borrowed the goods, purchase goods on credit. So that person is our creditor to whom we have to pay in future. So just like we have to keep in mind 20 terms. 20 terms, I am already explaining you. Number one is asset, number two is liability. Why I am repeating that should be feed in your mind. If input is good, output is good. 